Hey YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Ayana's world and you're just living in it. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in time. So today, guys, is going to be a very special video. It is going to be the Truth About Spelman College video. I'm going to be a rising sophomore at Spelman College. And I just wanted to give y'all the tea about it. I lived in Morehouse James dorm, MJ for life, period. Let's get into the video. Um, I do have my phone here for notes. So we're going to focus on four main categories and I'm going to answer different questions within that category. So first we have the dorm situation slash living situation as a freshman. Next we have friends on and off campus. Um, we have Morehouse in general slash Morehouse brother sibling exchange kind of like that ordeal. And then we have the on campus events and actually there's five. Um, and then best spots in Atlanta for college students. I'm going to probably go out of that order because the friends on and off campus, it's the best for last because there were things that happened to me that it was made me change my friend group like within the snap of a finger because it was kind of a lot that was going on. First, we're going to do the dorm situation. So uh, one question was, did you have AC? Um, I did not have AC. Freshmen on campus at Spelman do not have AC, unfortunately. You don't get AC unless you're a sophomore. And even a sophomore, that's not even guaranteed because I know sophomores that stayed in a dorm with no AC. And I was like, oh my gosh, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have no AC my sophomore year. Like, absolutely not. The living situation it's honestly not that bad and especially community restrooms a lot of the incoming freshmen i was talking to was scared that they were not going to get that they weren't going to enjoy community bathrooms especially when i showed them what it looked like in my dorm you just have to make sure you clean up after yourself and make sure other people clean after yourself because if you don't um you will face consequences when it comes to visitation and possibly the whole building getting fined. Luckily that didn't happen to us, but it could happen depending on how the girls live. Another thing with it, um, I experienced a lot of people stealing out of the fridge. That happens quite often. People taking other people's food and eating it. So luckily I didn't have to share a fridge with nobody and I wasn't gonna do that anyway. Like ain't no way because once I realized girls were stealing other people's food i'm just like absolutely not like there is just no way in the world that people are going to steal my food and not face repercussions because like what is wrong with you like don't you realize other people pay for the food and we have to put it in the fridge yeah that was one of the biggest cons that i did not like people stealing each other's food and whoop de whoop all that stuff i really really did not like that but I mean, that's kind of it about the dorm situation overall the dorm situation i'm gonna give it like a four out of five only because like the community bathrooms it was on and off about that some people were not cleaning up after themselves as they should like when it came to you know that time of the month girls weren't keeping themselves clean or whatever but and people stealing each other's food out the fridge and all that other stuff and the noise level was kind of not to my liking but that's because i am a quiet person i like my space and i also like quiet when it comes to my studies or whatever so that's why i give it a four out of five because some people were very considerate and other people were not i would definitely say don't be scared of the dorm situation if you see a problem speak up about it so the building doesn't have to get fined because you don't want to be that person that makes the whole building get fined because you didn't do your part in being a clean person and being sisterly towards everybody else And next, we are going to do Morehouse and slash the sibling exchange. So let me tell y'all about Morehouse. 
Morehouse is basically the all boys college across the street. Obviously, as you know, we are not integrated like regular HBCUs and other PWIs. The first thing you do as a freshman is the sibling exchange, which is basically you go to Morehouse's chapel and you sit in their chapel. They do the whole ceremony. They do a Q&A about, you know, people's previous Morehouse brothers and Spelman sisters and how they bonded in their relationship, what they did, blah, blah, blah. So after all that, you basically exit row by row and on the girl side, exit row by row and the boy side, exit row by row. Whoever you meet kind of like in the middle right here, that's your Morehouse brother and you spell his sister. My Morehouse brother, I actually love him to death so much. When I met him, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is really real. Like it just didn't hit me until like I talked to him. Yeah, we actually developed such a stronger bond. And that was one of the questions I was asked um how was it meeting your morehouse brothers for the first time i was actually very nervous but until we started talking he was actually a very cool person i had a feeling we weren't gonna hang out as much but he proved me wrong when he took me to his calf luckily my roommates morehouse brother and my morehouse brother were friends so we kind of developed like a small little friend group and we were hanging out kind of a lot at the beginning of the semester because as a freshman you don't have a big course load so we went to places like main event um we hung around campus at least like every other week um it was really great I, I could not complain and that's why i tell people don't be afraid for your morehouse brother and honestly if you don't like him you can kick him to the curb and find a new one because literally people got morehouse brothers all the way up until like the end of the semester because they didn't like theirs or they their morehouse brother tried to date them and get with them which is not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a sibling ship, like your biological brother and or your biological sister. Like it's supposed to be that type of relationship and not really like a dating relationship. And you know, some of them in there didn't understand that, but that's okay. Overall, I really do love my Morehouse brother. We have so many pictures together and um, we hung out one time before the school year was over. And, but overall, Morehouse besides from the sibling exchange and all that good stuff was actually a very interesting experience. I developed a lot of Morehouse friends not from my Morehouse brother but from other people I've hung out with and they introduced me to their Morehouse brother and then their Morehouse friends so I kind of found my little group around Morehouse. I don't really hang out with them that much but you know they're just cool people to talk to stop say hi how you doing you know catch up whatever whatever definitely try to build a relationship with him and you'll be fine like if you don't build that strong relationship that's okay y'all can always work towards it or if y'all fall out y'all fall out i mean there's nothing you can do with it don't try to force a relationship with them because it's not gonna be genuine and then they're gonna be tired of you and you just don't want that bad blood sitting on your heart all the time um but i we both made a gallant effort to get to know each other and it's obviously working out in my favor so next we're gonna go to um on-campus events so a question was what was your favorite campus event from this year um from the beginning of the year i would say definitely homecoming was absolutely amazing as you saw we had drake 21 savage you know but that wasn't it um we had the fashion show um we had like the tailgate and the football game all that good stuff but the main event was definitely the homecoming concert and the neo concert so both of the concerts were really big deal all the events on homecoming are worth going like get the package deal when i tell you get the package deal get the package deal i literally camped outside of the morehouse bookstore for like four hours i almost missed my my math midterm for some homecoming tickets so it included both of the concerts um the fashion show and uh, I believe the tailgate but I'm not sure but they might switch it up next semester towards the spring semester a lot of events hosted hosted by Pulse which is a separate organization for student life at Spelman 
they do a lot of stuff for like spelmanites and stuff like that so i went to the um to all the girls i've loved before valentine's day thing and they were basically giving out a bouquet of roses and you can enter raffles and take pictures it was just a little cute event i'll insert pictures here so y'all can see It was a very very cute cutesy event and it was it made me really start to love myself especially when there were friendship things that were going down and it just made me really uplift my spirit when I was feeling down so I would definitely go to that oh and on Halloween they do have an on-campus Halloween party it's not really a party it's just kind of a get-together in front of Morehouse I just saw it on my camera roll and I forgot I went to that it was pretty cute but a lot of people went somewhere after that if you know what I'm saying uh, Christmas they did like a little ice skating thing at Morehouse and it was really cute I didn't get on the ice but I should have oh another on-campus event you go to is the Clark versus Morehouse basketball game when I tell you that basketball game was actually really interesting, it was super competitive and the vibe in there was just really energetic. I actually didn't enjoy myself. That was actually the first like big event I went to by myself and it happens in the spring. We're always assigned a color like Spellman had to wear, well Morehouse, Spellman slash whatever. They had to wear white and Clark wore black. So you could obviously tell who was rooting for what team and there's a big halftime show and all this good stuff so i would definitely recommend going get your tickets early and definitely find out what you're gonna wear because this is one of the biggest basketball games morehouse lost both games actually for morehouse and clark atlanta we were actually maybe like five points away from winning it was literally like a buzzer beater that's how clark won and since we're on the sports related topic i would definitely go to the morehouse versus clark game I believe that one was in the fall if I'm not mistaken but if not then it's definitely in the spring I don't remember but as far as Greek life is concerned definitely go to all the probates um they're obviously really fun nine times nine times out of ten most of them are free except for like a couple I believe but definitely go to the probates because they're really entertaining and then I don't know you might see somebody you know randomly i don't know it's mainly upperclassmen but you might be friends with upperclassmen when you get there so, so you obviously have all the founders day events so you know after founders day there's always like a big carnival and you know you can all take pictures and stuff so definitely when it comes to founders day and like spring week is another one so we had like different events for spring week we had an all-white party the dorm stroll off uh the final one where they judge it and they win so those are the main two events from spring week and then you have the caribbean events um curated by uh auc vibes and yeah so definitely all the spring week events i would definitely go to which is obviously in the spring um the sports games where we play against each other because it's really competitive um homecoming obviously um the stuff for valentine's day and the stuff for halloween and the stuff for christmas so as you can see there's a lot of events to go to and definitely like go to those events and make memories because honestly i feel like as a freshman it's like more exciting because it's like oh my gosh this is your first time you know what i'm saying so i would definitely go to all of those events i feel like i'm missing so much more because i kind of went to a lot but most of the time i'll spend my time off campus because i like going to other places besides staying on campus which leads into my next topic of the best places in atl for college students okay so the next topic is what are some of the best spots in atlanta but we're going to start with the restaurants so most of these restaurants are in midtown which is just a general place which is good for college students so definitely five church midtown it's one of the higher cuisines but it's really good so next is draw bar my friend chelsea we went after um founders day hopefully y'all saw it in my founders day vlog if you didn't definitely go watch it right now because it shows you what we definitely did on founders day and the events we did and all that good stuff definitely go at night it's kind of like a rooftop thing it's inside of a hotel and you have to go up to the roof to access the restaurant 
um it is definitely you seat yourself and then the reader comes to you and it's just a good place to take pictures some pictures of the place are on my instagram make sure you follow me at imaginary ayana another restaurant i would say is sweet and fresh which is kind of by georgia tech um it's more of a chill place that you can go get some boba and some chicken wings they are open until 3 a.m which is honestly so amazing i definitely have gone super late before and the food is just really good i've door dashed it multiple multiple times because everything in atlanta kind of closes late so if you want to door dash if you don't door dash by seven o'clock you just have to order sweet and fresh because that's really the only thing that's open at least what i've been exposed to other people have ordered from other places that are open late but i just don't trust the food like i just have to go in person the other restaurants in atlanta are bad in total in my opinion atlanta food is horrible i'm from houston texas the texas the food in texas is just immaculate like nothing nothing beats texas food like we got barbecue tex-mex uh seafood um Jamaican food, Caribbean food, like we have everything you can imagine. Now most of it is in downtown Houston, but in my opinion, Texas food is just top tier because we know how to have real southern food and hospitality. Like you just can't beat that. As far as places go, um, I definitely would recommend the Georgia Tech Library. Now I know what y'all gonna say. We do have a library on campus, but sometimes the library don't be library you know like sometimes it's just not a vibe so i went to georgia tech's library um second semester and i really enjoyed it it's just a completely different vibe versus our library and it's just way bigger like their library is like 10 times bigger than ours there's literally a rooftop where you can literally do your work and look at the city skyline next i would say atlantic station a lot of people i would recommend going the beginning of the year because Atlantic Station is really cute there's shops you have other restaurants you have a movie theater um I think on Fridays they have like open markets so you can stop by and shop different things at the markets they have waist beads um different soaps different lotions clothes sunglasses so it's really just like a cute vibe in the daytime I would say because at night it does get a little dangerous like most like most of these places in Atlanta like Next is Peter Street Station, which was recommended by my lovely photography teacher. If y'all don't know, I am a photography minor. Um, I went to a little art gallery that was there. Luckily, it's literally like five minutes from campus. You can honestly walk to Peter Street Station if you want, but obviously I wouldn't recommend because this is, like that TikTok sound said, this is downtown Atlanta, okay? Next is obviously Safe Farm Arena. Now, there's a lot of artists that do come to Atlanta besides the ones that are on Spelman and Morehouse's campus. Um, I saw Jack Harlow at Safe Farm Arena and it was really, really such a cool experience. Um, luckily, I was on the pit and he was like right there. Like the distance between me and this camera, right there. Like he was super close. And Safe Farm Arena, it's really close to campus. When I say it's literally like 10 minutes, like it's really, really close. Spelman is really close to a lot of places. You just have to catch the Uber. The Ubers in Atlanta are really expensive. Anywhere you wanna go, like it's going to be expensive. DoorDash, Uber. So if you wanna go off campus, just make sure you're ready to spend money. I would say those are the best spots for college students. Now, um those are what i've experienced my freshman year next year i'm gonna definitely branch out and find more places because i feel like off campus has a lot to offer and on campus too but i would definitely recommend trying out both and see what you like now as a freshman you might obviously you don't have a car not that much money probably but um definitely go to events on and off campus because it's going to make your freshman experience more enjoyable so the last and final topic is the topic of friends which is on and off campus so a couple questions i had was was it easy or hard making friends i feel like when i went to spellbound um which is the admitted students day at spellman I made friends but they really did not last like I did not keep in contact with any of these girls after the fact 
and I just kind of stuck to one group and I didn't branch out I'm still very much in my introverted phase so if you're an introvert obviously it's going to be 10 times harder making friends than it is in high school I will say I'm so sorry but if you're like really extroverted and you just like walking up to people making conversation which is what introverts need and which is how I I'll always make my friends then it's not going to be hard making friends for extroverts versus introverts a lot of girls are very clicky I will say like you know that famous TikTok that's like Spellman is a pretty girl competition and I will say it is like I have no shame I will forever back it up because in my opinion like when I see friend groups it's like y'all literally look like carbon copies like I feel like you have to have a certain aesthetic for one friend group and not the other I feel like because if you're not that certain aesthetic then you're not going to vibe well with the group and blah 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 now some people will literally disregard the stereotypes i'm not saying everybody but some groups it's like you have to have an aesthetic you have to have this you know you have to you know look a certain way and know these people in order to be like in their friend group and other people it's just like girl come on join our friend group you know like life is too short to be you know too picky with who your friends are the friends i'm with now some of them came from a group project which I had in ADW. I love them so, so much. I love them girls so, so much. Definitely Instagram. I met all my friends. Most of my friends off on Instagram. My girl Chelsea and her crew. Um, Chelsea introduced me to them in person when she talked to me on Instagram. So I'm so glad we became friends and she introduced me to a lot of things and we just vibe well together. So definitely hard to make friends. Like my own friend was pretty much my roommate. And then as time progressed, I really started branching out to other people. Um, I was hanging out with my former friend at the time, the beginning of the semester. And then something happened which decided me which kind of made me forced me to branch out to other people and have the best time when i left my former friend a new friend came into my life and she actually moved from i believe hh to my dorm and i love her so much and we just bonded really well we made great memories together and i honestly cannot wait to see these people fall semester because I developed such a deep bond with them and it's just been really really fun if you want to be friends and you're going to Spelman always hit me up I'm always looking for new people new uh people to hang out with go to different events and really show y'all my world as a introverted college student who's trying to look for more friends next question is did you lose any friends that you were friends with in high school I actually did and this is kind of what I'm ending off with so my former best friend now we went to the same middle school and high school which is basically the same school we literally we literally were friends for like I would say like six years like we had a lot of history we were always hanging out with each other we went to each other's birthday I literally met her when I was like 13 like it was something I did, but what I did kind of affected her actions, the way she felt towards me all along. So pretty much like, long story short, all I did was distance myself. And um, it kind of made her like think some things. We talked it out. Obviously I extended the olive branch first and I thought we could make amends, but obviously that didn't happen. But I don't want to speak too much on the situation because we're, I mean, I feel like there's no beef as far as I'm concerned. I feel like there's no beef, but I definitely did lose her as a friend. And I will say it did break my heart like it really did. So um, that's when I was really on the journey to finding myself. And from that situation, I learned that, you know, I need to focus on myself and friends will come to me. And that's exactly what had happened. I literally got closer to the girls I was friends with first semester and I gained a new friend in the second semester. Definitely the connections you make in college are very very important and always be open to talking to everybody and all that good stuff. As far as sisterhood is concerned I do feel like Spelman is a sisterhood in some aspects. Um, it's like oh I'm gonna and sometimes it's like oh I'm gonna help you out because you're my friend but let's say somebody needs something in the chat nine times out of ten it'll happen but like that one percent is kind of strong and you might not get the help you need or whatever 
but overall like most of the time we are a sisterhood and obviously sisters bicker and fight and you know get into arguments but overall we are definitely all there for each other and we all want to get this degree and we all want to change the world so definitely don't be scared of the sisterhood okay so that was on the topics that i got based on the questions i got and i'm gonna end it off with this if you're worried about oh is spelman worth the money i definitely say it's worth the money because the connections the experiences and everything i have experienced is honestly top tier i did receive a full ride from xavier and looking back i honestly cannot imagine myself being at xavier um i did pass up my full ride to go to spelman college when they really didn't offer me little to no money they don't offer a lot of scholarships to students and if they do offer scholarships you kind of have to be like valedictorian or salutatorian and have a business and kind of like you know either volunteer a lot or there's just a lot of criteria they're looking for but most most of the time they only give scholarships to the people that were like valedictorian or salutatorian which i believe is not right but that's another discussion i truly believe that you should apply and your time at Spelman will be absolutely phenomenal. Well, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed my Truth About Spelman College slash Q&A. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Or you can DM me on Instagram. I'm always open. So feel free to DM me any questions, anything you want to know. Um, I would be totally happy to tell you um if you're gonna be on campus next year and you want to link up let me know i'm always open and whatever you want to do i'm down literally for whatever i like experiencing new things i like art photography you know whatever whatever again make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos over the summer i'm definitely going to be uploading more content and my birthday is at the end of june you know cancer season period so definitely look out for my birthday vlog and my birthday prep you know what i'm saying big nasty 19 period again thank you guys for watching and i will see y'all in the next video bye guys and I won't let